Welcome to the Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Day. Today's soldering tip is General Assembly Inspection. Your instructor for this soldering tip is Norman Meir, Master IPC Trainer. The first component to be inspected is a Small Outline Integrated Circuit, or SOIC. Position the assembly for easy viewing. Look at the side of the lead to determine if there is at least 75 to 100 percent solder along the side of the lead. Look at the heel of the lead to determine if the solder covers 50 to 75 percent the width of the lead foot. Check the overall position of the component to ensure that the leads are 50 to 75 percent on the pad. Check the alignment of other gullwing lead components as appropriate. Look at the circuit trace between components to ensure that they are properly covered with solder mask. If there are any exposed areas, ensure that they do not contact or get too close to anything that would cause an electrical short. The next component in this inspection will be the J-Lead, or PLCC. Look at the general alignment to ensure that the component is 50 to 75 percent on the pad. For the PLCC, ensure that the side joint is equal to 150 percent the lead width. Check the solder at the heel to ensure that it is equal to 50 to 75 percent the width of the lead, depending on the class of the product. The final component today is a chip component. Ensure that the solder covers 50 to 75 percent the width of the end of the component. Along the side of the component, ensure that solder is visible at the lower edge. Solder is not required to be on the side face of the component, as many components are not solderable in this area. This has been a brief look at the general assembly inspection of surface mount components in an electronics assembly. For more inspection criteria, please visit our website at www.solder.net or schedule training at 847-797-9250.